be off then. I go now. What is the meaning of this? Was this castle always here? As shrouded in mist as the mountains may be, we still should have been able to see something of this size from the past. Furthermore, the structure clearly differs from Lord Takaribi's fort. This leads me to believe that the leader of the demons has been quite diligent in its construction. And for some time, no less. So, this leader is skilled enough to have built such a grandiose castle right under our noses, hmm? Now then. How shall we proceed, Princess? We've come this far already. It shall be a pile of rubble ere long.
So, it was him after all. Is he asleep? An aura of intense malice surrounds him. My hair is standing on end. There remains no doubt that he is the leader of the demons. Ah, I was wondering who weaseled in here. If it isn't the brat from the bridge. It has been some time indeed. You've grown quite powerful since I last saw you. Well, you know, I got here well before you folk. I had plenty of time to sharpen my edges, if you catch my drift. If you knew we had come, why did you not bring your full might to bear against us? I had my hands full with other stuff. Some rowdy fellas needed a good thrashing. <laughs> had to show them who's boss around here. <laughs> In any case, your time is up. I've defeated your underlings. You are the last. Surrender and stand down! The last, you say? Those demons were just for show. You've defeated nothing, and you never will. I dare you to try and lay a hand on me! It's time to pay you back for what you did to me on that bridge. Then, I'll take care of Katsura, along with the woman and the kids. He's coming, princess. Talimon, I shall stop him in your stead. Look again! Yeah! 
form as you did before. I shall let you go, so make your egress. I made a promise to spare your life. You won't kill me? <sighs> this is Katsura's meddling, isn't it? That irritating little... He is concerned for you! You may not have the words for him now, but someday you should speak with him frankly. How naive. Given the chance, I'd sooner slit his throat than listen to his drivel. Besides, before long... Hmm? Before long what, pray tell? What is this? An earthquake? The princess! Look! The mountain! It's burning! <laughs> it's begun! What is the meaning of this? Tell me! Surely you already know his name. The evil god Omisuchi has awoken. Oh, Omisuchi, you say? Ridiculous! He was... Indeed, he was put down by the gods in the capital and the Ashikumo tribe. But he didn't die. He escaped and hid deep within this island, biding his time. What? As soon as I arrived on this island, we found each other. He and I are one and the same. I could smell it on him. That same stench of irrepressible hatred and fury I know so well. I lent a hand in healing his wounds, and in exchange, he gave me the power of demons. After we had destroyed the capital together, we had planned to cross that bridge and assault the lowly realm. But look at what he can do merely by waking up. Your mind will boggle at what happens when he bursts forth from beneath the earth. He amassed such incredible power for the sole purpose of blowing the god's capital to bits. Destroying this island is nothing for him. Wretch! <laughs> Wait, please! Killing him will change nothing. You made a promise with Taoimon! But... but... He will reap his just deserts in time. You know full well how a human bereft of demonic powers will fare on this island. True. If he does not rely on us, he will know no peace. Still, none of this bodes well. <sighs> Say, Tama, do you think I can defeat Omizuchi as I am now? You have truly grown strong in both mind and body. You are likely stronger than most gods in the capital now. For me, there is no greater happiness. You have yet to reach your father's heights, and it seems as though Homizuchi is much more powerful now than he was in the past. It would take the full might of every god in the capital to bring him to heal. If only Lord Takeribi and Lady Toyohana would return. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Princess. Do you wish to protect this island? The island where your parents met? The island where you have worked and lived alongside the children of men? Of course I do! But what can we do alone? We have spoken of the power that lies dormant within your divine raiment. Should you desire it, a suitable sacrifice is required. To put it in simpler terms, you can obtain power if you pay a price. What are you trying to say? Now is the time to summon forth the hidden power within your holy keepsake, my lady. That raiment's true name is the shawl that crosses realms. 
I do not know who made it, or to what end. Nor do I know what will happen if you unlock its true potential. No matter how resolved you are to stand firm against Omizuchi, it will mean nothing if he is sent to another realm. And then... Then? What? I, Tama, the holy edge of Hoshidama, will melt myself down and be reformed into a new farm tool for you. If you wield a farm tool that holds the power of the Holy Sword, you may be able to pierce even Omizuchi's fearsome hide. Nay, I will strike Omizuchi true, even if it takes everything I have. He will melt down and be reformed? How can you say that, Tama? If you do that, you'll surely... My soul now resides only in the hilt of the sword, granting me this physical form. If I am dissolved and reformed with new iron, I will be reborn as a holy sword, but I will likely lose my soul in the process. No! Why would you task me with making such a dreadful decision? Are you telling me to offer you as a sacrifice? You raised me all by yourself? You are very kind, Princess. I am not worthy of such sentiment. Truly, my heart overflows with joy. However, in the end, I am but a sword. I cut down countless foes in the able grip of Lord Takeribi. So if I can once again fulfill that duty by acting as your sword, then I will pass beyond this realm free of worldly regrets. No! No, absolutely not! I could not bear such a thing! Such a lonesome path you would set me upon! A victory without you would be hollow! You must show that insolent Omizuchi the willpower possessed by the gods of Yanato! This is ridiculous! I won't have it! Your sacrifice does not assure our triumph. We may all end up dead regardless. Yes, it is as Kinda said. It is not worth it if we are killed. Hear me, Tama. Do not speak of this again. That is an order from your master. The princess. Mud? No. Ash mixed with rain. In any case, let us return home for now. I am concerned for the others and our fields.
Lady Sakuna, Tama! Sakuna! You're okay, Goddess? You were all present and accounted for, I see. What is most important is that you were all safe. A horde of demons came straight for the pass. We managed to get away, and even grab some supplies from the storehouse. Everything else was... The house, the fields that stood as proof of your toil. Creeped out of the pass a bunch of times while it was still on the mend. We kept bringing it back after it collapsed at the base, but it must have let the other demons hear. <laughs> I told you we needed to kill it, damn it! Now what's done is done. We must discuss what we are to do next. Next? What do you mean this is it? We're through! some straw mats with us. If we cover the fields with them, then this muddy rain might... We cannot possibly cover everything with the number of mats we have here. Then we stop the rain and begin anew. There are rice husks here. We have not lost everything. We can rebuild the house and the shed. The grass and trees will regrow come spring, and the soil will eventually... Quit it already, Pops! Shut your trap! What should I do in the face of such despair? I... I have no clue. Princess, where are you going? Uh, the toilet. Uh, that's right. We no longer have one. Here I am again. Why did I come here back then? I worked as I was told to this entire year! Day after day, I hunted, tended the fields, and kept a watchful eye on you people! And, as a reward for my back-breaking labor, I am offered this inedible refuse! Has the world gone mad? Nothing has improved at all! Nothing's... improved, huh? Those words certainly ring true now. I've fled again for a similar reason. I thought I had changed. What in the world am I doing? Back then, Tama and Tawimon came for me, but... This time, they are consumed with their own concerns. There is no blizzard this time. If I row out to sea, even if I can't reach the capital, will I arrive on some other island? Or will I simply end up here again? They would not be able to survive on this island without me. If we return to the capital, at least Tama and I would find asylum. And yet, I cannot imagine that Lady Kamihitsuki and the other gods would deign to look after the humans, given Omizuchi's imminent attack. And Ashigumo and the Kappa would not be permitted to so much as pass through the capital gates. I have grown fond of everyone here. I enjoy my life on this island. Suddenly it seems so obvious. The only one with the strength to protect this place. No, having the strength is only half of it. The one who wants to protect this place is none other than I, Princess Sakuna. I shall safeguard all that I have gained. I beg your pardon. I came to see how you were doing as promised. By the way, 
Was that some sort of boat I bumped into just now? Ah, uh, uh, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Allow me to show you the way. Welcome back, Lady Sakuna. Yo, you're late. We were all waiting for you, Goddess. Hi! Welcome, Sakuna. Who is that person? It is a pleasure to meet you. I am called Princess Kokorowa. I am Sakuna's dear friend. What? You've actually got a friend? <sighs> How insolent! Quiet, you! More importantly, though, what is this? Hmm, well... We all talked it over and decided to rebuild. We thought it would be best to start with the dwelling, so we set to work right away. But I'm afraid my clumsy hands held us back. Please build us a true house. Leaky roofs and walls full of holes won't bother us. We're ready for anything. Princess, I knew that you would return to us. Behold, the indomitable spirit of the children of men. We gods must not be outdone by them. Indeed, you could not be more correct.
some water into the field. yet remains. Speaking of ash, Yanato is a country that is full of volcanoes. Even mountains that appear placid to us now frequently erupted in the olden days. If all the land was subjected to ashy rain, how did farmers determine which areas were suitable for growing crops? How could I possibly know that? A fair point. If we operate under the idea that ash corruption ruins the soil forever, then neither realm would be able to grow crops. But since we can grow crops, there must be... No, but... In other words... Groa, retreating into your own little world will not solve any of our problems. What? Forgive me. I get lost in thought very easily. In all honesty, Kogoroa, I'm pleased that your concern for us extends so far. You have our utmost gratitude. <laughs> I shall return to the capital for now. If I make use of the book repository, I may be able to learn something pertinent. All right then. Take care on your way back. Time to muddy the water. Much better. Mirte's treatment seems to have done the trick. I see. That is good news indeed. So, do you require something? A specter of my tribe has been prowling the eastern forest. It has not yet done any harm, but the Kappa stirred with fear and unrest. Uh, not again. Here I thought it had met a fiery demise. If that was not enough to finish it off, 
then it must be a high-ranking specter with the ability to bend flame to its will. Ah, it must be the specter of Homo Subi. It kindles the grudges of the dead with an undying blaze, bringing forth death anew. It is a powerful force of nature whose strength rivals even Nomazuchi's. Uh, what is the matter with this island? How many threats are we to contend with? I do not recall it being all that powerful. Omizuchi seized control of this land first, so the power of the fire god who came later is weakened. That would account for it. Thank you, Mashikuni, for notifying us. It was nothing, really. I suppose I shall have to take preventative measures in the forest to ensure our way of life here is not disrupted once again. Make something? I give my gratitude for this meal. Want me to make something?
I make something? Give my gratitude for this meal. That was good. Here is food. together. Want me to make something? for this meal. Into the field. I filled it to the brim with water. 